All right, at the end of this video, you're going to be saying, what on earth? How could that possibly be true? Trust me, just bear with me as I go into the details. You're going to be saying, what on earth? First principles, a powerful Christian apologetic. What we're going to be doing is evaluating Pi from within Genesis 1.1 and evaluating E from within John 1.1. 1, 1. These are two mathematical constants. Uh, they are transcendental numbers, they are irrational numbers, and they are non-repeating numbers. They are special numbers in maths. Let's have a look. We have the formula here. It is the product of the letters multiplied by the number of letters divided by the product of the words multiplied by the number of words. Now, if you're thinking this is an unusual formula, it is, but I believe that it's emphasizing God's word. Okay, so Hebrew reads from right to left. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth is the verse. <clears throat> we have the Hebrew words here and each Hebrew letter has a numerical value because the Hebrews use their alphabet as their numbering system. So this letter here is Aleph. It has a value of 1 because it's the first letter in the alphabet. And this is the value. This um, letter is Tav. It has a value of 400. And this uh, Hebrew word, in fact, is untranslatable. So uh, I believe it, it, many believe that that word means word. So in the beginning, God created his word. And this is uh, later emphasized if we go to uh, John 1 1 says, In the beginning was the word. And the Word was with God, and God was the Word. Alright, so this Hebrew, untranslated Hebrew word is, I believe, you know, it's the first and last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So it's from Aleph to Tav. It's the all the letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Alright, so we'll get we'll get into uh, what each Hebrew letter represents. So that Hebrew letter has a value of 90. That Hebrew letter has a value of 200. We multiply all those numbers together and then there's 28 letters. So that's how we come up with this value here. So it's the product of the letters multiplied by the number of letters. And then uh, each, so if we add 90 plus 200 plus 1 plus 5, that equals 296. 400 plus 1 plus 6 equals 407. So we do that for each word, and then we multiply those numbers together. So 296 by 407 by 395. And there's seven words in that verse. So that's how we get this number here. And then we execute that formula, and we get 3.14155, which underestimates pi by a mere 0.0012%. <clears throat> So we go to E, same formula is applied, product of the letters multiplied by the number of letters divided by the product of the words multiplied by the number of words. So E has a value of 5 because once again the Greeks use their alphabet as their numbering system so each letter has a numerical value. V has a value of 50, alpha has a value of 1, etc. So we multiply all these numbers together and that gives us uh, this number here at the top multiplied by the number of letters. So there's 52 letters there. Then we uh, do the equation at the bottom, product of the words multiplied by the number of words. So E and V has a value of 55. Uh, this word beginning has a value of 719. If you add up 1 plus 100 plus 600 plus 8 plus 10. So you multiply that together and you get a value uh, with 4.38 times 10 to the power of 77 divided by 1.61 10 to the power of 37. 
and you come out with the value of E 2.718 so this overestimates E by a mere 0.0011 percent so the other one overestimates this one underestimates alright so Genesis 1 1 was written in like uh, the the 14th century BC by Moses he was obedient to God he, he just he wrote what God told him to write uh, and there's some truth in the in the statement because you know in the beginning God created his word the heavens and the earth um, and then John in 70 AD he was obedient to God he wrote um, he wrote, you know, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and God was the Word. So uh, the mathematical constant E had not even been thought of at that stage. It wasn't thought of until the 17th century by um, Leonard, U Leonard Euler. And the amazing thing is, is that these two mathematical constants have a unique relationship in Euler's identity. Here we have pi and E. Uh, so uh, pi and E are, are very unique in mathematics. So what on earth? How how can this possibly be true? You know, I've I've shown you you know the formula. So uh, and and we have um, this is his web page. If you go to that, if you Google Vernon Jenkins first principles, uh, you'll you'll be able to. Um, seek, seek out the details yourself. Thank you for listening.